Peggy 18. God of War is an amazing game. I think it's one of the best game ever. I connected the game because with Kratos' emotions, his goals, he, some, in fact, this for the, his determination to, to make some things happen. This is the idea of the, the game, don't give up. Oh. My name is Emmanuel Mojica. I am from Jalisco, Nayarit, in Mexico. My passion is God of War, and I live with my mother and with my uncle. I almost finished my career at my university, and then my grandmother died. And I feel very bad because she was our familiar pillar. Then my mother gets sick. So I have to, to take uh, two jobs to resolve that kind of problems. I was working 16 hours a day and was a little complicated. And that period of my life was very, very hard. Maybe I will play on a game for maybe escape from this uh, crappy life and have something fun. God of War is the story of a mortal man ascending to the ranks of a god. Kratos, the tragic human, caught in this familial cycle of mistrust. That, to me, was the biggest sort of aha for the next game. I knew I needed to connect this to something personal. Boy! Our son was going through the struggles of having very long bedtimes, right? And it just really got me thinking heavily about how would Kratos deal with this situation? What does the, the, the guy whose entire life centered around vengeance, what would it be like if a guy like that tried to make the right decision? I struggled a lot trying to find what the story was, so there was a tremendous amount of pressure and a lot of self-doubt. So to connect with a gamer who says, this affected me, that is invaluable. My first experience with the game was because my cousin introduced the game. Hey, you want to play a game? Yeah, OK, let's do something. I have a, a one hour a day and start to play. That helps me. I really want to see how, how we'll end this kind of game. So you start to fight, you submerge the game. You don't feel like, ah, oh, I am playing this game with the control, no. You are inside the game. You feel all, all the Kratos feel. And that was my escape. Something inside of me feel like a Kratos when somebody say, you can change your destiny. I never give up. Like a Kratos, never give up. I never give up. began as the third person action adventure. We were deep in Greek mythology. Not really Kratos, it's Greek mythology. It was an interesting perspective. It was not a perspective I shared. You know, to me, God of War is Kratos. Creatively, I didn't want Kratos to become stale. Norse is a very different mythology for this round. This change was very deliberate. It's very controversial. I made a promise to myself that I wasn't going to hold anything sacred. Here's a chance. Show me you already. Yes, sir. Kratos' voice. I have to understand what is he's saying. And I take my dictionary and start to say, oh, it means that word. And I start to study English because God of War. I really love English. And I combinate my, my, my two goals to teach and teach English. I was the first person in my family to finish the university. When you are a teacher, you can change the future to another person's. You can change the vision, the vision to the children's, and you can create a better future teaching. Here, you have to write in simple 
Paz. I first heard about Emmanuel from Aaron Kaufman, our community manager, who had talked about this God of War fan. Had an idea, and Aaron said, uh, you know what we should do? We should bring this guy up for the launch. We should take him up for the launch, let him see the press conference, you know, and then actually maybe play the game with him a little bit and kind of connect. Emmanuel, my spies tell me you are one of our biggest fans, and I'm super excited to meet you. So why don't you jump on a plane, get in a train, and drive an automobile all the way up here to sunny Santa Monica so you can see what the hell we are working on. Get on out here, dude. Oh, my God. For real? Wow, incredible excited. I am very, very happy and dying for be there. It's amazing. Hey, what's up, dude? You ready to go today? Yeah, my friend. All right. Ready. I am taking you to the PlayStation press conference. Oh, really? We're going there right now. I've even no, got... No, come uh, on, put it the gas no, 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 no. <laughs> As a creator, I think if you lose the connection with the audience, if you lose that ability to see those who actually consume what you do, you could lose steam in the hardest of moments to not understand why you do this. Oh man, my heart is... I know, I know. Your mother's life show me what you know. To connect with gamer who follows what the releases are and actually plays the hell out of that game, like this is awesome. Come by the studio, I'll show you some stuff. All right, man, have a good show. It was great to meet you. See you, right. see you tomorrow. All right. Oh my God. Manuel. What's up, man? Oh, Cody. How's it going, man? How are you? Very good, very good. How was last night? Oh, awesome. It was very interesting. A lot of big doubts about what is that, why it is new, how, how Kratos over there. Kratos wanted nothing more in this one than to have his son not fear him and not want to kill him. You know, that's the cycle he wants to break. He wants to create a situation where the next day is better than the one before. And it took him getting away from this, isolating himself and shunning the aspect of being a god. So through this whole story, you will play as Kratos, and you have this connection with the kid, this idea of an extension of Kratos. The kid is that, but it's somebody that you're teaching. You're training the future of the franchise. Every player that's it, that's is it. making... That's it. <laughs> it is an interactive medium, so it isn't, you know, we can say, oh, if it doesn't play well, who cares? You know, it, their opinion matters tremendously. It's like an evolution to this, this character. Yeah. It's different, different yeah. evolution. It's an evolution. Yeah, a lot of people have, you know, that feeling. When you try to make something different or completely different, a lot of people say, no, I, I don't want it. The, the game needs an uh, evolution. Yep. You are introduced a new character to the new God of War fans. So, so it's and we maintain this. that through line. I think right now people are saying, you can't have a God of War game without the cinematic camera. It'll never work. And it's just patently false. Let's go play the game. Yeah, of course. For me, at least, having this through line of a character who you know is kind of this tragic immortal. But we like 
to know in our lives when we fail, we can get up the same way that he can get up. It's like, like a, a new, a completely new lesson to say, okay, Kratos is a struggle every single day like you are doing in your yes. life. It feels better when it is grounded in some kind of reality, when these stories ring true, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's a wild experience because we make games in a, in a vacuum and we get uh, sort of used to what we're seeing. And it's great to do this, to reconnect with people who actually see it for the first time. Because as much as you believe in what you're doing, it's still that possibility that it could be bad, that you could be fooling yourself and everything you're doing is just terrible uh, because you have only the one view, everybody working on it, right? All right, so now is gonna be the exciting thing of trying to figure out where the hell the Sony booth is at, <laughs> of which I have no clue whatsoever. This is awesome. That's fantastic. This new era to video games is is very strong. The the people are very serious. Oh, Peter. This is awesome. Incredible. Wow. This personal perspective about the game, the personal way that he wants to see the game was simply incredible. Corey was a big influence in my life for a lot of time ago, and for me it was a privilege to be with him. Well, thank you for coming out. Thank you, thank oh. you very much. All I, right, dude. Very good. Travel safe. Me too, I'll take care of okay. Every single moment that I spend here I will be my heart forever. The best lesson I can learn is, is chase your dreams, is don't give up. The most powerful thing that you can motivate somebody else to do something good. For me, that is the best gift ever. You, you can do it whatever you want if you have the perspective and the knocks to do it. Big problems for your character. Be strong. Okay, life, bring it on. <laughs> PS4 for the players.